It is one of the most recognizable scenes in movie history. Indiana Jones fleeing a huge boulder bearing down on him inside an ancient temple at the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark. The man responsible for that set was Norman Reynolds. In 2016, 35 years after Raiders came out, I interviewed him, along with the film producer Robert Watts. They explained showing the set to Steven Spielberg, the film's director. I'd never done anything like that before, and I, I arranged for um, when Stephen came over to show him the part of the set that we'd already built, which involved the, the boulder and a, a, quite a long section of the ramp, and that was important to show him how the, the ball and the speed the, ball, the boulder rolled down at. So, do you remember the meeting, Robert? We were all there at, in the stage, and uh, I said to Robert, uh, to um, Stephen, I'll just show you how this boulder works, because I wasn't sure whether he'd like it or not. So, there were various people scattered around the stage, and we said, okay, to the uh, special effects man, um, let's try rolling the ball. So, he rolled the ball down, and we all stood by, watched the ball roll down, and there was a small figure at the end of the track who was... Robert Watts. Stephen asked me to run in front of it. <laughs> and so I stood out there and it's bowl cut, you know, it had like scaffold poles out on either side, I remember. It was fiberglass, right? Yes, it was. It came fiberglass. rolling down like this and I see it running and I run in front of it as Stephen has asked me. I get to the end of the run and there's some two by fours across the end of the set. So I kind of jump over them and, and the ball stops. And Stephen says, OK. And I said to you after that, I said, you could have stopped it, couldn't you, Norman? You said no. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Well, I'm not going that way. Norman won an Oscar for his work on Raiders. Before that, he'd also grab one for his role as art director on the original Star Wars film, A New Hope. We had a scene in the desert in Tunisia where 3PO appeared, this gold man glittering, a robot glittering, and uh, R2. And this frame was such as in, in the sand dune. And I thought, this is, this is special. This is sort of special. And the light began to dawn. This could be something extraordinary or just a flash in the pan. I don't know. But, uh, but it had... George said to me glibly one day, he said, uh, all you have to do is get the right script, get the right actors, and the film makes itself and it'll be successful. Well, I think that's something of an <laughs> understatement, I think. Norman went on to production design the Star Wars sequels, as well as a number of other films, including Superman, Alien 3, Empire of the Sun, and the first of the Mission Impossible films with Tom Cruise. Steven Spielberg told the BBC there was nothing that Norman couldn't make work, that he was a joyful, friendly and massive talent. Kathy Kennedy, the Lucasfilm president, said that Norman was an exceptional person to work with and that his contributions to the first entries of the Star Wars saga and Indiana Jones series helped set the standard for the look of these beloved stories that has inspired generations of film designers. Norman himself, though, was more humble and modest, often telling people he made biscuits for a living rather than tell them what he really did as a job. Testament to that is a story one of his friends in Cheltenham told me today of a time when Norman had given him a book to read relating to a film script he'd been asked to direct. And I said, are you tempted by this, Norman? And he said, yes, I am. And there was a brief pause. And then he said, I'm thinking of giving Harrison a ring. <laughs> Because <laughs> I realised he was talking about Harrison Ford and the fact that he had Harrison Ford's number on his mobile. And it made me appreciate what an extraordinary career he has had. In a statement, Norman's family said today that you wouldn't know that behind his unassuming, funny and affable exterior lay an enormously talented production designer. He was, they said, amazed at the fan base that his work created and how much his work meant to them. But above all, he loved and delighted in his large and growing family. Norman Reynolds may have preferred life away from the spotlight, but his groundbreaking production design is familiar to us all. He set the standard with some of the most famous movie sets in cinema history. Steve Nibbs, BBC News.